Greetings, Kerbonauts. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and this is AMA number six. People ask me all the time, how do you run so many mods when you're in Windows and you can only have 32-bit? 64-bit is unstable, and as you all know, if you've been watching Project Odyssey, and you saw what happened when I tried to use 64-bit. Well, there's two answers to that. One of them is I just don't include everything when I install a mod. I'll only usually install the things that I need out of that mod, and I don't install all the rest of it. The second thing I do is I run in OpenGL mode. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to get your system into OpenGL mode and hopefully recover one to two gigabytes of memory. Step one is get a box. No, wait, that's a different video. Step one is go to where your Kerbal Space Program folder is located. For me, it's in Steam Apps, Common Apps. You go into the Kerbal Space Program folder, right click on the KSP executable and start to drag it away. When you release, it's going to give you this menu that you can say, create shortcut. Do that and you'll get a new shortcut here where usually I'll rename mine to something like KSP OpenGL. Now right click on that link and you're going to get an opportunity to select properties at the bottom. That'll open up this dialog box with a target field. You're going to edit the target field, go to the very end after the double quotation mark there, enter a space dash force dash OpenGL. Hit OK and then double click on the KSP OpenGL shortcut. This will begin loading KSP. And from there, it's just business as usual. Go do whatever it is that you would normally do when you're playing. If you look at the bottom of my screen here, you will see that I have two instances of KSP open. They are both the same installation. One of them was in OpenGL mode and the other one was not. They're both out of Project Odyssey. You can see that the one that was not running OpenGL mode is very close to crashing already. And probably if I were to load a craft and go out to the launch pad, it would crash. Meanwhile, the other one in OpenGL mode has so much memory that I don't even know what to do with it all. Now, wasn't that easy? All right, until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.